he hizi nazo ni gani husband kills wife for suspicion of cheating wife murders husband drops his body in septic tank body found decomposing eh kwani tumetani into what squeezy man dies in the line of duty <laughs> 70 year old man dies in the line of duty with a 21 year old. Nakwambia siku hizi kuna headlines. Eh? Man and eh mpango wa kando drown at a dam after a suspected moment of eh okay. Wife kills husband and children on suspicions of cheating. Yaani maze that's the mess we are in. Every day you turn on your news, you buy newspapers, you look at what's trending. Someone has killed someone on the allegations of cheating, you know. But it is a mess. Yani tuko kwa ngori. It's it almost seems like it's not working. Una tune your radio in the morning, you know. All radio shows almost all, of course, apart from the very few Christian stations and our very own Hope FM shoutouts by the way, 93.3. Mwende msikize. You tune in in the morning unasikia tu watu wanaongelea chaos ya relationships, chaos ya marriage. These ones have killed these ones. These ones have done. I mean, you get a picture of a very messy affair. The love triangle. Now, in our current existence or in our society today, love triangle is taken as a very negative thing. When you hear a love triangle, it comes with connotations of cheating, pango wakando, an extramarital affair. That's what the love triangle is about. That's the situation we hear in. And then, of course, it comes on with a lot of destruction and a lot of death and so on and so forth. Now, before I begin to even say what I wanted to say, let me say it this way. The devil doesn't have anything original of himself. As a matter of fact, everything fake is proof of an original somewhere. We can never have a fake unless there is an original somewhere. So everything we see that is fake today is trying to ape, mimic or mock an original that existed somewhere, including the love triangle that is now a messy affair. Now, in our understanding today, love triangle is just a situation, a situation. You know, there's a husband here and a wife or a boyfriend and a girlfriend. And then in that setup, there's an additional other person, popularly known as Mpanga Wakando. Now, in scripture, if you look at Genesis chapter 2 from verse 15, that's the first place we see the mention or the picture of God's intention for what a family or marriage should look like. The principle of first mention when it comes to study of scripture ni ukitaka kuelewa concept and at the first place it was mentioned in scripture. So first of all tunaona God am create Adam, he is in a relationship with him. It starts there. Adam is a relational being. Then Mungu amempatia responsibility pale from verse 16 of Genesis chapter 2 to take care of creation, to tend, you know, look out the animals is naming. Then Bible inasema God and observe Adam anaona he is alone then he makes for him a helper that is suitable for him then now eve of course is formed and these three are in a union they are in some fellowship and relationship so distinctly bible in asema god would show up in the garden of eden in the cool of the day and would have fellowship with adam and eve that was the picture of the love triangle that there's a man and a woman here that are in relationship they are in association together when I enjoy intimacy and then between them they also have a relationship with God now the first time we meet my girlfriend who now is my is, is, is my wife that was like six years ago Nakumbuka on our, after our several dates Ali Chora called my notebook Ali Chora triangle on one end of the triangle kandika jineake on the other end of the triangle kandika jineangu then at the apex of the triangle, I drew a kandika jine a God. Then she told me, every time we move closer to God, we will be moving closer to one another. Now that is the picture of the love triangle as God intended. God intends that the love triangle in its purest form is that in our relationships, there is a space for him pale kwa apex. So if you are a boy or a girl, a young man or a husband and a wife, you should know the Picture perfect love triangle in your God only intend ni that me and my wife and God as we move closer to God to the apex we are moving closer to one another. Now here is the chaos. Pale kwa apex tumetoa Mungu tumeka vitu zingine. Tumeka mpango wa kando, tumeka ka extramarital affair. So everything is a very private. 
no wonder there's chaos. Why? Because anything that is tried to be done outside the original way God fashioned it to work, imagine how I work. It can never work. So here is a call for you today. In your relationships, palemtani, with your boyfriends and girlfriends, husbands and wives, bado God akopale kwa apex, is he still an important party in that triangle? Because kama hayuko, then it akwa chaos. So go back, checky, angalia ni nini tume substitute, wale wase tumeweka hapo, pull them out. Let God take his original and rightful place. Then we have a picture perfect love triangle. Tunasongea God, tunakaribiana. Let's end it there. Tune in kwa your next episode. We further this conversation. Tuone vile hii mambo itaenda na vile itaisha. This is the Anchored Man. Thank you for watching. Please write up a comment section. Tell us what you think, what your comments are about this. Let's hear, let's, let's engage, share this video. Like us on our social media platforms. Na pia kuna numbers on your screen that you can dial and we can get to have a conversation with you. Thanks for watching always.